The Milky Workbench is a tool for exploring the atomic and molecular world. The software is quite popular from the Molecular Workbench site itself. It's been downloaded over 800,000 times. In this project, we're doing a lot with molecular dynamics. There's a lot of computation involved to make that happen. There are huge numbers of multiplications and divisions and array operations. It's a different kind of programming than a lot of the programming many people who've done web programming have done. Ten years ago, when we started developing the Molecular Workbench, we chose to build it with Java. It was important to choose a platform that would allow us to reach as many people as possible, and Java ran on many different devices. In the last year and a half, the computational capacity of a modern browser has increased by about an order of 10. Today's universal platform is the web, and browsers have become full-fledged development environments. HTML5 and recent advances in JavaScript computational performance have made it possible to bring our molecular workbench models to the browser. No Java needed and able to run on anything that has a modern web browser, including tablets and smartphones. One of the great things about working in the open source software world is how we can build off of each other's work. JMOL is a great example of this. JMOL is a Java-based 3D viewer for chemical structures. We were able to incorporate this viewer into the molecular workbench to allow people to easily build activities around manipulation of large and small molecules, and to make connections between the static 3D representations and the dynamic models of how molecules interact. In our new work, we plan to build a chemical structure viewer that won't require Java, and will extend another open source project based on JavaScript and WebGL to visualize molecules in a browser. By moving to the web, we plan to leverage the social and creative aspects of how people have come to interact online. They will be able to easily share, collaborate, and build new representations. Learning science this way is more engaging, draws upon our natural curiosity, and goes deeper than is possible any other way. And we hope other open source developers will find inspiration in our work, finding ways to contribute, and also incorporate what we've done in other tools because it's that kind of under the hood stuff that has to happen in order to create the groundwork for actually making something that people will just start using and go deeper and deeper.